Hi everyone, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. Today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious potato salad. It's really easy and I know Thanksgiving around the corner, lots of you guys will be cooking. I know I will be cooking. So I will be bringing you guys a lot of those Thanksgiving related videos dishes whatever <laughs> if you're new here please subscribe i would love you to join the island vibe cooking squad hit the subscribe button and as well as the bell make sure you hit it and also i have more salad like potato salad pasta salad i have a beet salad check them down below without further ado let's go Alrighty, to get started, we need potatoes to make potato salad, right? I have two roussette potatoes here. I will not be using all of it, okay? I will be using one and a half. First of all, I have to peel my potatoes. I am going to peel them with a knife. If you have a potato peeler, you can use it. I don't really I like to use my knife. I'm pretty good at it. So I am going to peel them. Once I'm done, I have a container here full of water. I am going to cut them into small dice. I don't want my potatoes to be too big, so they will be nice and square and uniform. So if, if you like it big, you can make them big, but I like them nice and small, okay? Alrighty, once I'm done, I am going to cut the potatoes just like so, just like I'm doing right now. Come on, knife. <laughs> Alrighty, now I am going to cut them into a nice square. That's the only way I will get them to be all the same size. So make sure you, if you wanna, you know, you can follow the little trick I showed you guys right here. This is how they look nice and square and uniform, kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> I am going to cut one more, show you guys how to do it. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys how I do the entire potato, but. Now the water is to wash out the starch, the potato starch. Make sure you rinse it out at least three times because the water is, is kind of like murky and stuff. Make sure you rinse it out like three times until the water is nice and clear. Once I am done, this is it right here, stir it a little bit, wash it out, rinse it out, do it again, rinse it out until the water is nice and clear. Now I am going to put my potato in a pot to boil them. Make sure you add your potatoes in cold water. Do not add them in hot water or while the water is boiling. What it will do, it will cook the outside of the potato before the inside of the potato cook. We want the potato is nice and soft. We don't want it to be soggy. And as well, I added two eggs in there. Now moving on, I will be cutting up about three stalk of celery as well as some onions. Just cut them really small like I said. I don't want big bite of celery in my mouth. So I will be cutting them really small. Now it's time for me to cut the onion. I am using half of onion. It is yellow onion. You can use red onions if you like, but I am using yellow onions, okay? I am going to follow the same step I did for the celery. Just cut them nice and small, not chunky. Okay. 
Alrighty, by now my potatoes should be ready. I am going to test it out with a fork. It should be nice and soft. It shouldn't be hard, but it shouldn't be super, super soggy and soft. For the egg, I will be adding them in a cold water so it will stop the cooking process and so I can remove the shell easily, okay? Now this is my potato. I've removed the water out of it, let it sit. I will be adding it in the fridge because I want this thing to be done faster. Do not make your salad with hot potatoes, okay? Put them in the fridge for a little bit until they cool down. Now for the eggs, I am going to mash the egg, not too small, but not too big. If you like your big old chunk of egg in your pasta, pasta, in your salad, in your salad, you can cut them a little bit bigger, but I like it nice and small and the same size as the potato. Next, I will be adding my mayonnaise. I will leave the brand of the mayonnaise that I'm using down below. Check it out. And all the measurement will be down below. I forgot to tell you that in the beginning. Okay. After I add my mayonnaise, what else I will add now? I will be adding a little bit of Dijon spicy Dijon mustard. You can use regular mustard as well. I will be adding relish, sweet relish, one teaspoon of white distilled vinegar. I will be adding one tablespoon of sugar. That was one tablespoon of vinegar, by the way, so sorry. Next, I will be adding pepper. I'm not adding any salt yet. I will save that for later. I am going to stir it up together. Just mix everything together until everything is well combined. Alrighty, now I will be adding the celery and the onion in there, okay? Now it's time to add the potatoes. They are nice and chill. They're not hot, okay? They're not hot because it will literally melt your mayonnaise. It will make it super runny. You want these potatoes to be nice and cold. <laughs> You guys see how nice and white my potatoes are? That's because I cover it when I was boiling it. So make sure you cover your potatoes while they boiling. Now I will be stirring it up until everything is nice and well combined. All right now. Now I will be adding two tablespoons of instant mashed potatoes. That will give it a nice thick texture. The, the mayonnaise will be nice and stick with the potatoes. It will not be runny, super, super runny like it is right now. I will be adding the rest and you guys will see how it looks afterwards. But now I am going to add the rest of it. Like I said, it's two tablespoons of instant potatoes. It will definitely change the look of your potatoes. I mean, I wouldn't say it's optional, but you can definitely add it in there. This is how it looks before I am going to put it in the fridge. So this is how it looks. Now I am going to cover it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge. I'll say leave it in the fridge for about six hours, but I did not because I wanted to finish filming this video. I left it in there for about an hour. So this is it. It's nice and thick and creamy. This is my potato salad and it tastes amazing you guys, amazing. I did add salt at the end, like I said, to taste it for salt. It tastes so, so, so good, oh my gosh. Definitely try this recipe out. And if you do, let me know down below how it turned out for you because I would love to know. I really enjoy eating this potato salad. It tastes delightful. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Be sure to share it with a friend. Like the video if you haven't, please do so right now. Let's get it to 300 likes and I will see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye guys.